Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex here. Today we're going to play around and create a very simple Python Flask server. Now, I chose to do this in Flask because when I put out my like, what is Flask video, um, one, it wasn't that good, but it still got relatively a lot of views. So I'm going to spam Flask stuff on this account like there is no tomorrow. That was, that was a joke, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to spam you guys with just Flask stuff, but you'll see it pop up from time to time because apparently there's a high demand for it. All right, so let's get started. First off, we're gonna open up Atom like we usually do, and we're gonna go ahead and import everything we need from Flask, namely Flask itself. And I'll probably skip through most of this stuff, uh, but essentially we're just setting up the basic app. So you create a new instance of Flask, and then you can get right into setting up app routes, which is part of why Flask is such a popular micro framework is that it's so quick and easy to use just to create very simple servers. So right off the bat, we're going to create a basic root route that you use with the get command. And we're just going to have it say, hello there, welcome to my server. Uh, and here we're going to actually set up the server and the script. So that way you can actually access it from other processes. So let's go ahead and get over to that and open it up. Right, so now the server is running. Uh, so we need to make a get request of this and then test it out. So you can actually do that in Linux with the get command, which is actually Pretty nice, that way I don't have to open up a browser just to do it. And what do you know? Gives us the exact message we told it to give us. So this is how we know everything's working on the server so far, which is pretty cool. So now let's mess around with different routes. I'm gonna copy this over and we're gonna change some stuff with this. We're gonna have it ask you what your name is and we're gonna be able to give you a name variable in that route. Cause I wanna show you guys how to use route variables in Flask. So let's go ahead and try it out. But as you can see, it actually can't find the root. And that's because in Flask, whenever you make a change, you have to actually kill the server and start it over again, which is probably my least favorite thing about Flask. But, you know, whatever. Uh, it works now because we've updated the server. So now it has that new root accessible to it. So you can put in any name you want and it will repeat it back to you, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to make sure that a certain root can only be accessed by certain methods like only post or only get, you can actually define that in the app root using this keyword argument like I do here. So we're going to go ahead and create another route and I'm going to show you how to do integer specific variables in Flask. So we're going to add two numbers x and y um, and you can only do this on the get method because why would you why would you use have to use post. So a little aside that app in front of the app dot route that means it's a decorator. So in Python, you can essentially define a function that takes in a function, does some cool stuff with it, and then spits out the result. It's pretty functional, um, but they have syntactic sugar that makes where you have the at and then your actual other function name, the decorator. And that's what that at app that route is above like all your actual functions is that's a decorator. Um, and getting back to the server itself, as you can see, we actually get that add stuff to work uh, once we restart the server. And if I tried putting in a string, it actually won't let me go through. It gives you an arrow 404. So that's like the basic level of security that Flask has. Now, I right before I finish this video, I would like to show off something a little more complex, maybe some data on the server side. So I'm going to put in the three diamond and pearl starter Pokemon because I, that's my favorite Pokemon generation. And we're going to give a little query server where like you ask it a Pokemon and it'll tell you its type. Now it only works for these three because I'm only putting in their data, but um, you know, close enough. This way we can see a little bit of some server side security, um, just whitelisting certain inputs and then giving a result based on some data within the server. Now for more scalable systems, you'd use an actual database, but I'm a little strapped for time this semester, so I will be using much more simple examples. Um, I'm thinking I might put out a follow-up to this video where I web scrape all of the Pokemon types from Diamond and Pearl from some website, and then I'll put that in a database and then we can have it access from that database in a Flask app. I think that'd be a pretty nice little video. Uh, it might even be a longer one. I might. I, I wouldn't break it up into parts, but you know, I think it'd be a nice video. Okay, so what we're doing here is you give it a name of that Pokemon, and we're checking to see if that name exists inside the keys of our little 
JSON database here. Uh, and if not, it's going to tell you, sorry, but you can't break my server. And if it is, it tells you the Pokemon's type. So again, let's go restart the server, the update, and there we go. So if you try running add, that's no longer supported. Um, and we're going to test it out here. We're going to put in Grimer because he's not in the database. It says you can't break the server and we put in Chimchar. He's a fire type Pokemon. So as you can see, it all worked pretty well. Now let's try Piplup and water type. That's good. And Turtwig. Yeah, grass type. All right, cool. So we know a server works. We know it's decently secure. Um, and that is how you build a very simple little Flask server app in Python. All right, hopefully you found the video helpful or otherwise entertaining. If you did, please consider giving me a like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, or click on the little notification bell so that way you never miss out when I upload a new video. I don't have too much else to say, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.